Have you ever wondered why your coins don't rust, even if you've had them for years? You might have left some loose change in your pocket, your bag, or maybe even found one under your car seat, covered in dust, a little dirty, but still metallic and intact. Not a single bit of orange rust in sight. Let's dive into the fascinating science and history behind why coins don't rust despite being metal. It's strange, right? Because coins are metal and metals are supposed to rust. So why don't they? Let's uncover it right here on History of Simple Things. Before we talk about coins, let's first talk about what rust actually is. Rust is a form of corrosion that specifically happens to iron and materials that contain iron, like steel. It forms when iron reacts with oxygen and moisture in the air, creating that flaky reddish-brown substance we all recognize as rust. The reaction looks simple, but it's pretty destructive. Over time, the iron atoms bond with oxygen and water molecules, forming iron oxide, which weakens the metal. Think of an old bicycle left in the rain, or a metal gate that's been exposed to years of humidity. Rust eats away the metal, making it brittle, crumbly, and weak. So, rust is not just about appearance, it's a sign that the metal is literally decaying. But here's the key thing. Not all metals rust. Rust only happens to metals that have iron in them. Other metals like copper, nickel, zinc, or aluminum can still corrode, but they don't rust in the same way. And that's where coins come in. If coins were made out of pure iron, they'd rust almost instantly, especially in humid environments or salty air. But coins are designed to survive countless hands, pockets, and even years buried in the ground. So mints choose metals that resist rust and corrosion. Most modern coins aren't made of one single metal. They're made of metal alloys, which are mixtures of different metals that enhance durability and appearance. For example, the US penny used to be mostly copper, but since 1982, it's been made of 97.5% zinc with a thin copper coating. Nickels are actually made of 75% copper and 25% nickel. Quarters and dimes are clad coins made of copper sandwiched between layers of nickel. In other countries, the mix varies. Many euro coins, for instance, use a combination of copper, nickel, and brass. The Philippine peso coins are often made from nickel-plated steel or copper-plated steel, depending on the denomination. All these metals, copper, nickel, zinc, don't rust like iron does. They react differently with air and moisture, forming a thin protective layer on the surface that prevents further corrosion. So technically, coins do react with air. They just don't fall apart from it. Here's the cool part. When metals like copper or nickel react with oxygen, they form a very thin oxide layer on the surface. This oxide layer actually acts like armor. It seals the rest of the metal underneath from further exposure. Take copper, for example. When copper is exposed to the elements, it develops a greenish coating called patina that's copper oxide and carbonate. You've probably seen this on old statues or roofs like the Statue of Liberty. That's all patina. It looks like aging, but it's actually protection. That green film prevents more air and water from reaching the copper underneath, so it stops the corrosion process in its tracks. Nickel and zinc behave similarly. They both form invisible oxide layers that prevent deeper damage. That's why your coins might get dull or slightly tarnished, but they don't crumble or flake apart like rusty iron. In short, coins are designed to corrode gracefully. Now, you might be wondering, if steel is cheap and strong, why not just make coins out of that? Well, 
They tried that. During World War II, for instance, the U.S. Mint was short on copper because it was needed for ammunition and electrical wiring. So in 1943, they made pennies out of steel coated with zinc. And here's what happened. The zinc coating protected the coins for a bit, but once it wore off, the steel underneath started to rust quickly. The coins would turn brown, get pitted, and even stick to magnets. They looked awful after just a short time in circulation. People complained, and by 1944, the mint switched back to using copper. That little experiment proved a valuable point. Steel may be strong, but when it comes to everyday coins, especially ones exposed to sweat, humidity, and friction, it's just not practical. You need metals that resist corrosion naturally. You might think your coins have it rough, but they actually endure more than most metals ever do. People have found coins that survive fires, floods, and even being buried for centuries, and they still maintain their shape. That's because metals like nickel and copper alloys have excellent resistance to both heat and chemical attack. Even when coins are lost at sea, they might get encrusted with salt deposits, but once cleaned, they often reveal shiny surfaces underneath. This resilience is one reason these metals are also used in industries like plumbing, electrical wiring, and aerospace, where rust resistance is critical. So why don't coins rust? Because they're made of the right metals, metals that don't rust the same way iron does. They're carefully crafted alloys that protect themselves with microscopic armor, designed to last through sweat, dirt, and time itself. Next time you find a coin that's been sitting in your drawer for years, take a moment to look at it. It's not just spare change. It's a tiny piece of material science, a symbol of how humans learn to outsmart rust. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.